Hi guys and welcome to my channel Kira 1984. Today we are here with Tony Valente. Hi Tony. Hi. Tell us about your creative process, uh, how a Radiant chapter born and uh, how do you project every narrative arc of your manga? Well, uh, I take a lot of notes, uh, drawing and writing some stuff uh, way before I enter a new, um, a new story arc. I would say, but then when I uh, start building a chapter, I just take one day or two, I, I write the, the chapter down, referring to the notes I have already taken, to, to put some clues that will lead to, to the climax, eventually to the end of the story arc, but every chapter, uh, I did it like a standalone. Uh, I write a chapter, I draw it, then I go to the next one. I don't prepare many, many chapters before. And, uh, but I have a backbone, which are those notes that lead me to the end of the story arc. So do you have uh, all the story in your mind or you are going chapter by chapter? Uh, more or less, uh, more or less the two. Uh, you know, I see the top of the mountain, but whenever I'm coming closer and closer, everything is more defined. I know uh, which way I cannot go now. At the beginning, there are always many, uh, many door opens, uh, many, many different story arc possible for every character when, whenever I come into a new story arc. And then, uh, when I write a chapter, and then another, and then another, I close many, many options, and that leads to the end. So I have many backbones at the same time, I yeah. would say, for the, the main story. But I have a beginning, I have a, a, focus, point, a focus point at the middle with uh, many things happening, and I have the end. I, I think I always have those three, three points. When and how do you discover manga? I discovered first anime before manga. Yeah. And like I, many, many people. Like many people. Because of TV. I discovered first uh, Dragon Ball, Ranma, and uh, many others, but those two were my uh, very favorites on the TV. And then I read the manga uh, just after knowing that that came from a manga. So I was a kid. I don't know exactly when, but I was a uh, little. You're a manga style born in the early 90s. Uh, in the beginning, uh, it was more maybe a, a mere copy of Japanese style, uh, and uh, but now, uh, do you think uh, that uh, it has its own identity, and uh, you think that uh, it's in its final uh, evolution, evolutionary stage, uh, or maybe it can be more or more? Uh, even if you take uh, Japanese manga, there are schools of. Uh, styles and uh, things like that so yeah. uh, since the beginning of your manga I don't think we were more into copying that what does uh, exist uh, already in Japan it's just that the most popular uh, that started with the most popular um, genre and uh, it is shonen and shoujo yeah so of course uh, by going into shonen and shoujo there, there was many many things that were already there because of the because of the genre now there is a lot of diversity and uh, a lot of room to um, to propose those titles because of internet because of the many publishers uh, growing and uh, trying to sell uh, Euro European manga so I don't think that we really diversify now I just think that we see them now but that already exist at the time do you create your works uh, alone or like in Japan do you also have uh, assistance mostly alone I would say uh, 95% or even more alone because I do all my drawings my story uh, I do the screen tones. I had someone who helped me uh, for some books for the screen tones, but uh, I do that by myself now. And I, uh, basically, I do everything except now uh, erasing and scanning. Uh, I have, I have uh, someone who helps me doing that. that. That is the only thing. When you did start writing uh, Radiant, uh, did you think it could become such a huge uh, success uh, even in Japan? No. Not at all. That was really the opposite. I was coming from uh, Bande Cine, European yeah. comics. 
I was convinced that I would be the only one interested in it by doing it just and uh, so I did it with this state of mind saying I have to enjoy myself doing it because maybe this is the last thing I uh, I'll be able to do in this industry so I was really just having fun uh, doing it as if I wanted to, to read it as a kid so your first goal is uh, it was to make manga not bandesine uh, when I started bandesine I really wanted to make bandesine but when I started as a oh. kid that was manga the roots of what brings me into this industry is uh, manga anime but mostly manga okay. when I started uh, bandesine I was really really involved into uh, French bandesine I was a big fan of also uh, many Italian authors that I really really enjoyed at the time uh, and even nowadays but this is definitely not the type of format where my story can fit. How did the, the first approach between your Japanese publishing, uh, publishers uh, and your work happen? And how did you react to the announcement of the Radiant Anime? Uh, first, it uh, went out in France and the Japanese publisher by the, by the license has Jacob here yeah. in Italy now and uh, many others, Viz Media in uh, North America, Panini in South America. Uh, so it is really not something built for Japan. This is just, this was built just for me at the beginning. Yeah. As I said, he was interested in the license, buy the license, make it happen in uh, Japan. Thanks to that, a producer uh, come across the series, read it, and uh, wanted to make it as an anime. And so for, uh, for a long, long time, I thought that was just a fancy idea that was being developed, but I didn't think that we could really uh, ending up having, having an anime on TV. I, I didn't think that. The anime presents uh, immediately, immediately uh, a development of men different from the manga and also many fillers. And some fans um, have complained about this. How do you see this issue? I understand. I understand that fans complain about that because uh, they were expecting uh, the, the story that they knew. Uh, we we talked a lot about this with the, with the producers and the studio making the series, and I understand also their points. Uh, we didn't have enough uh, original material to to fill an entire uh, first season with 21 episodes. So the point was. We changed a little bit the beginning and we made feeders. Then for the second part, we stay close to the to the material, or we change everything. Yeah. Which is the, the yeah. But now season two, they have enough material. They are really confident in the story and everything. So it sticks to original material, and everybody now is really pleased with that. And me first. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed the second season. And can you tell us uh, your about your involvement in the in the series? I received uh, many questions before they make the scripts for a season. Then, when I write the scripts, I uh, I read them, I comment them, eventually correct them, and same for the designs. And so there is back and forth between uh, me and them, uh, trying to to find. Uh, to uh, what is possible to do. Sometimes they have to to take scenes away from the from the anime because of uh, jet reason, because of space reason. And uh, so we try to understand each other on those points and uh, find a final solution. Do you already have ideas for your next work? No, no my work is radiant. My next work is uh, radiant, and uh, we'll see uh, after. That. Okay. <laughs> Which are the mangakas and the cartoonists the, in general that influenced influence you the most when you are growing up? Really the, the big shonen like uh, Dragon Ball, of course Naruto. Uh, Naruto brings me back to, to, to manga yeah. and then One Piece uh, really strikes me as uh, this is what I need to do. With Naruto and One Piece that really brings me back to what The, the beginning of all that. Uh, how do you value most uh, among contemporary artists? Who, who do you like from uh, contemporary mangakas or maybe cartoonists uh, in Europe? Or... Mm. Uh, I read a lot of good manga. It will be difficult to... 
Nokia to choose. I'm really in love with Yuzuki Murata's art. I really, really enjoy that since the beginning, since I Shield, his first series. Yeah. I love, uh, of course, I love One Punch Man. This is really dope. I love My Hero Academia. I'm really into that. Uh, actually, one of my favorites now uh, that are different from uh, from Shonen would be uh, Atelier Wechat, yeah. which is a really, really incredible title. Uh, also, uh, Dungeon Food, I guess, is the title here. Yeah, yeah, J-pop publisher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. J-pop. Yeah. yeah, I really, really love that. Many others, but yeah, other than the... I would say those titles, I'm really, really into that. So, thank you, Tony. Uh, this was Tony Valente. Of course, we'll see you next time.